Hey guys, Brandon here from Airsoft K19, bringing you guys another paint job. I did one paint job on an airsoft gun probably a year and a half ago on a sniper. I'm going to do another one today. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with this gun, a friend of mine wanted me to try to sell it for him. Um, and it was broken, but good news is I actually did not have to buy any uh, parts for it. All I really did is just tighten up the screw on the bolt right back there and open up the trigger box and all the screws holding the trigger box together were very loose as well. Tightened everything down, uh, got my hands a little greasy, but the gun is shooting just fine now. Uh, and I called up my friend that I was selling it for and I told him and he said the gun was all mine because he didn't think it would be worth anything anyway. So just got this gun for myself now. I um, think it would be a pretty good gun to do a paint job video on. Um, I think the thing, it took me a while to decide what I wanted to do with it. Uh, as you can see right now, it has kind of like a finger paint paint job. It used to be black, now there's OD green and some brown kind of all over that was painted with, uh, with someone's hand or fingers or whatever. Uh, I'm thinking about the whole lower kind of part from here, uh, obviously not the, uh, the butt plate, but from here to here, I'm just gonna do tan, trying to leave the screws, probably not, uh, probably just leave the screws uh, uh, tan too. I'm gonna leave the rubber uh, butt pad, the uh, cheek riser, the, of, of course the trigger, the bolt, the rail over by the cylinder, everything like that, and the whole barrel black. So it's just gonna be this bottom that's gonna be tan. Um, so my first step is gonna be to sand the gun down. Then I'm gonna make a trip over to Walmart, get some tan paint and uh, maybe some primer, we'll see, and we're just gonna get painting. All right, so we got the gun sanded down and it's very, very clean to the touch. Uh, so sanded down, cleaned up very, very well on the surface. And it's far from the best masking job, but it will do. I masked off the, uh, the plastic and the rubber uh, on the butt pad, the uh, sling point uh, on both sides, uh, cheek rising uh, piece or whatever. All the bolt, the rail, the all this stuff right here, which I actually peeled off just a little bit right there. Okay, so uh, the trigger, a little bit of that where the trigger box is, the mag, and around the mag, so uh, nothing gets inside of there. This is, I think, another sling point as well as this, and on the other side, and um, and then as far as uh, the uh, the muzzle, I don't have anything there yet, but I'm gonna put a piece of, uh, of like toilet paper and put it right in the inner barrel so I could paint freely, freely here without worrying about any paint getting in the inner barrel. So, um, and as far as this right here, I don't even have a bipod for it, so I don't care if there's paint here. All right, so that's just a quick overview on uh, my masking. Basically, to uh, sum it up, just get anything that you want uh, to remain the same color, so all the black pieces for me, or anything that might uh, affect the gun, like if paint got inside the inner barrel, or if there was a, I don't want to lift that up too much, or any paint in the cylinder, or anything like that. So paint off anything important or that you want to remain the same color. So I just gotta make a trip over to Walmart, get a, a mat uh, to protect the table, and some paint. All right, fast forward five hours later, and we got everything. As you can see, I decided to move to the grass, so uh, so I could just use cardboard instead to uh, to protect the grass from overspray, so I don't have to paint on the table. So I got brand new uh, spray paint cans here. We got the uh, Rust-Oleum uh, tan camo and uh, Rust-Oleum black camo edition. Uh, same company, same edition, so the paint should work well together. Um, probably gonna be a two day process on this paint job because if I pan the camera uh, over there, looks like there's a storm on its way. So I don't know how long I have until a thunderstorm uh, kicks in here. So we're just gonna try to get going. Hopefully I could get a couple layers of black down. All right, uh, you probably cannot see my face, and if you can, it's overexposed. But uh, basically, if you haven't seen my video before, or uh, actually, I think I already talked about what I want to do with this paint job here. Um, I want this whole lower receiver, except the bolt, the bolt assembly, the pads, and the trigger. I want all of this to be in tan, while the outer barrel remains in black. Uh, the last uh, paint job video I did, the, uh, people started giving me tips to start with the lighter colors. Um, and then and with darker colors for whatever reason um, that doesn't really matter for me guys I, I, all my paint jobs I like the outcome and um, and it's not the Mona Lisa it's an airsoft gun if it comes out the way you, uh, you envisioned it I think you did a good job so uh, hopefully you guys can understand why I'm doing the paint job the way I want to um, not the correct way so uh, 
Basically, I'm gonna start with black and all you paint enthusiasts out there are probably gonna start biting your fingernails at this point. I'm starting with black because I want the, uh, the uh, outer barrel black first uh, so that could dry. So then at that point, I can start painting everything else tan. Basically, I don't really know what I'm doing and I'm just gonna keep going until it looks the way I want to. Uh, I want it to, and then if it turns out the way I want it to, then we had a good day. So uh, that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to start shaking up these cans. I'm probably going to paint the whole gun black to start with a, a new canvas, uh, paint the uh, paint the, uh, the outer barrel uh, black uh, mainly, and then maybe tomorrow because it might start raining soon. Tomorrow I'll come in here, and once the black on the barrel is dried, I can mask the barrel off and just go tan. Um, hopefully we could get tan done today, but we're just gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, whether I do it today or tomorrow, it's all gonna be on one video, so don't worry about that. Uh, so uh, let's just go ahead and get painting. All right guys, sorry about that. For whatever reason, when I painted my first coat on there, it did not record on the camera. I guess I thought I, I pressed record when I didn't. But uh, anyway, we'll just move on. So uh, I just finished up the second coat, actually. Uh, sorry if the video is all out of order. I just finished up the second coat. It looks very, very better, or much better already. It looks very cool, uh, like a gunmetal gray almost. Uh, very matte black. Uh, I'm gonna start emphasizing more on the barrel and I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing. And uh, if the weather holds up, we could go ahead and uh, once that paint dries on the outer barrel, we can mask that off and start painting some tan. So uh, let's just keep on painting um, the, um, now I'm gonna just uh, paint the uh, outer barrel, flip it over to the same, uh, same thing. And uh, like I said, we'll go from there. All right, looks like it's uh, dry enough to flip over. And it looks like the same exact process begins. All right, I'm gonna do one more quick layer on uh, on some parts of the gun and the uh, outer barrel, and we should call it good for for uh, for black. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let that dry, and depending on just how dry it gets and what amount of time, and if it's raining or not. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put some blue masking tape on the outer barrel and go with um, with tan and paint the rest of the gun All right guys, uh, I'm, I'm gonna do something. I told myself I was not gonna do and that is rush this paint job um, But it's about to start raining really really hard So I'm actually gonna rush it I'm, instead of doing this tomorrow because it might rain tomorrow as well uh, But hey, I got this gun for free. So uh, who cares if the paint job is uh, is messed up so uh, anyway I uh, masked off the whole outer barrel uh, thing. Hopefully when I take the paint off, uh, it stays black and the paint doesn't peel off with it. I don't think it will, I put it on there pretty lightly. So without further ado, I think we're just gonna go ahead and start painting. So uh, let's get after it. All right, so uh, as I paint that coat, I see that tan is a pretty cool color on this gun. So I did one pretty heavy kind of light coat uh, for the first coat. We're gonna go ahead and let that dry, see how it looks, and uh, keep on going. 
All right, now that that tan's dry, I could see that the effect, the uh, matte tan, is gonna be really, really cool when it's done with. So let's just go ahead and do uh, coat number two. Alright, just put the second coat on there, put it on pretty thick to where there's almost no black. Uh, in fact, there's a little bit right here. Alright, now that that's gone, looks like it's for the most part all tan. So, uh, just in case I miss any more spots like that, I'm going to go ahead and let it dry. Do one more coat and let it dry, flip it over, do the same thing, and hopefully it doesn't rain in uh, that amount of uh, time. But uh, hopefully it uh, turn out pretty good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our third and final coat for this side and flip it over when we're done. All right, as you can see from my uh, from my last coat there, you can see I did lift up the bolt and very carefully uh, painted where it was black here. Uh, so after that, looks like it's ready to uh, to dry and then be flipped over. Do the same thing on the other side, except we don't have to worry about the bolt. And once that's dry, I think we'll be done. Um, as of right now, when the paint is wet, it looks like a tannish pink kind of color. Uh, hopefully, when it it's tan and matte out, uh, hopefully it will look like a good Afghanistan desert camo because uh, that, that's the theme for here but uh, until then let's just go ahead and let it dry and then uh, continue the paint job All right, because I'm very limited on time, I had to basically try to get full coverage on the first layer. Um, hopefully I have enough time for it to dry and then do another layer just for extra coating. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do one more layer, let it sit and dry, put it under the cover, and if it dries fast enough, I'll take it inside and, uh, and do a video of un unveiling all the blue tape so we can see the final results. And again, hopefully it doesn't look as pink tan as it does right now. But uh, on camera, it, it looks fairly good. But uh, we'll see how it looks like inside once it's all said and done. All right, let's go in for our, uh, for our last coat. All right, just finished up my last coat, so now we're just gonna uh, uh, let it dry and uh, beat the storm. All right, guys, so uh, we had a, a very quick paint job. It was probably uh, from the first spray to the time it dried, probably about one, uh, almost two hours, one and a half hours. And uh, I know this video is a how-to, and let me tell you what I did wrong, even though it turned out okay. Um, Patience. Uh, you have to make sure it's a good day. Uh, check the weather and uh, all that kind of stuff. Make sure you, if you want, you can sand it down. Depends on the material. Depends if someone painted uh, on it before. Um, make sure that it's clean, a clean surface, and then paint uh, your uh, your color that you're going to do or your first color, whatever it is you decide to do, primer or whatever. But your first coat, that's what I'm going to talk in is coats. First coat needs to be very, very light, uh, nice sprays, not, some, uh, no, not so spotty, nice uh, lines and sprays, um, very, very light, you don't want to get all, all the like, like wet spots. Let it dry for maybe five minutes uh, and then do it again and again, probably three to five sides on each side and make sure you get the top and bottom uh, other, like after you already uh, masked everything off. What I did 
is uh, spent more time masking off and then I literally try to get full coverage immediately because I knew that there was a storm behind me and I just, and uh, the gun I'm dealing with here, um, I could probably sell for like 40 bucks and I got it for free. So uh, it's not a big deal and if I don't like it, I could wait for it to dry and then sand it down and start all over and then go all from black. But luckily, even though it was a very, very rushed paint job, it doesn't look too bad. Um, it's still actually, my impatience is still carry on because it's still, um, the paint is still not as tough as it can be once it's fully dry. But it is dry to the touch, I just can't hold it and uh, smear the paint too much. But as you can see, all of the uh, masking tape is still on there and that's what this video is going to be on, just peeling it off so uh, we can see how the final product looks like. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Alright, so uh, peeling off where the barrel is. I did uh, individual pieces of tape at first and then I just started looping it all around. So uh, it's going to take a while at the beginning and then we should start having an easier time peeling all of this off. Alright, so I finished up peeling off all of the uh, the masking tape on the barrel. So the whole barrel is black and already it looks pretty sweet. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel off all the tape over by the bolt and rail and the uh, butt pads and everything like that. And it uh, should look pretty sweet when it's all said and done. Alright guys, got all this uh, masking tape here that I uh, peeled off. And uh, here is the final result. Um, so, I bet you from a distance where you guys are watching it right there, it looks pretty good. When you get up close, you see that there's a little bit of remains from the last ugly paint job. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, but overall, I made a gun that was about to be thrown away look a lot better. Oh, by the way, there's the mag. Um, I made a gun that was about to be thrown away because it was so ugly and not working. I made it work and look just a little bit better. So, um, in the future, I might sand it down, paint it all black or whatever. Or see if someone, uh, some of my friends want to buy it like this. So uh, I'll get some close panning shots with it. But uh, as for right now, uh, it looks a whole lot better than it did about two hours ago. So uh, that's basically it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't see my first how to paint a uh, airsoft gun video, uh, the paint job looks a little bit better than this because I, I try to do something uh, uh, different here. But uh, if you want to see my first video, go ahead and cl uh, click the link right here. Uh, so until then guys, uh, stay tuned for the future content like the mystery box coming up. So thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.